Okay, I'm quickly going to show how to use the grep command and the cut command. These are two uh, very useful uh, tools in writing shell scripts. Uh, and first off, I'm going to show you that I have a file here called ffdat for firefighter data. It's a database I created, a uh, very simple, uh, what's called a comma separated file, but we'll get into that another time. Uh, we're going to look at that, and as you can see, I've got a list of few names here, and we're separating fields by commas. So we have names in the first column here, and then past the comma, we have positions, firefighters, drivers, and lieutenants are the three positions that we have. And then the third column is uh, departments for uh, as far as where they work. So as we've gone over in the past, if you type cat ff and you know cat in the name of the file, it will display what's in the file. But now if we use what's called the grep command, and we just type grep and then what we're looking for, uh, in this case we'll just cho use firefighters as an example. So firefighters in quotations and the name of the file you want to grep through and hit enter, you'll see that it only displayed the lines that have the word firefighter in them. And same thing, we can go back here and instead of firefighter, we can type in driver for drivers, and you'll see that it lists only the uh, lines that had the word driver in them. So there were two drivers, uh, four firefighters, and we can also do uh, lieutenants, which we, you don't have to type out the whole word, uh, although, you know, there if the word lie was in one of the other lines, it will come up, but we'll do that, and you see that there's two lines with lieutenants. Um, now, let's say we just wanted to display the names of drivers, regardless of their department. What we're going to do is we're going to use what's called a pipe. So we're going to look through drivers, which if we just look through drivers, there's two of them, John and Bob. John works for East Naples, and Bob works for New York. Uh, we're going to use the pipe symbol, which is uh, shift, on most keyboards, shift and your backslash key. It's just the uh, straight up and down line. And what this is going to do is going to take the output from this first command that we wrote here, the output, which is going to be these two lines, and we're going to uh, pipe it into the cut command. So we're going to type cut, and then we're going to tell it where we want it to cut, uh, which is called a delimiter. We're going to do dash d backslash, and our commas are our delimiters in this case, so we're going to put a comma there. Then we're going to say what fields we want. So right now, let's say we just want the names. We're going to do f1 for the first field. So here, it listed drivers, all drivers, but listed just their names because that was field one, which is John and Bob. Now, if we wanted to see uh, the names of the drivers and where they work, we can just do now add a comma three for field three. And if we just wanted to see where they worked, we can just do F3, and it shows us just the third column there. <coughs> so. That right there is a very quick overlook of the grep and cut command. There's a lot more you can do with it, but those are some basics for you to play with for now. Uh, so have fun and be creative.